Hi everyone. Today this video is about how to install EGM 2008 on your CHC controller. So even before I start, there are three important things I'd like to talk. The first is I have a Bhutan EGM 2008 grid file on my computer and I would like to install this on the CHC controller which is connected through the Windows Mobile Device Center and here is the CHC controller. Now, even before I install it, I'd like to give a brief introduction on the Bhutan EGM 2008. This EGM 2008 grid file is particularly for Bhutan. Now, why do we need this EGM 08 on our CHC controller? The reason is all heights that you measure with the CHC receiver if you do not have an EGM file on your CHC controller, then every height that you record is an ellipsoidal height. Whereas if you have any EGM file, in, in this case it is Bhutan, the height that you obtain from the receiver is or will be converted to the mean sea level height, which is the height that we normally want. Now, the EGM file that I have is .grd format. There are many formats such as .ggf and other EGM grid formats, but the one that I have is .grd. Now, the third step is to transfer the GRD file into onto the CHC controller. Now, as I have already connected the CHC controller with my computer, so all I need to do is uh, open the root folder and as you can see by default there is a geode file. Now inside this geode file here I have already copied the Bhutan grid file. Now as soon as I cop copy the grid file on the CHC controller all I need to do is Disconnect. Once you have disconnected the controller from the PC, then you have to select the EGM08 on your CHC controller. Now, in order to do that, you'll have to go to the CHC controller and then you'll have to select the Surf CE. Well, the Surf CE file is open, the window is open. You can either select a new job or continue with the last job. Say that we select a new job for this. See, you name the job as A. Now, as soon as you set your jo job, then automatically this job setting window will come. See, you have the projection national. It doesn't matter for this purpose. Now, you do not need to connect to any kind of device. Here our main aim is to install the EGM on your CHC controller. You have already copied it. Now you go to equipment, then you go to localization, and then there's an option called GPS. Now here you can see there's a geode file. If you have not installed the Bhutan EGM grid, then you will, here it will be reflected as none. But since I've already installed, it is reflected as Bhutan EGM 2008. Now, if you're doing it for the first time, you click it. It will show you, go to your root folder. This is the last folder that you can go back on your, on your CHC controller. And then as you have already copied your EGM file on the geoid, so you take it. And as I've said, there are many file formats for EGM grids right now it is GRD dot GRD so you take it and then you select it and after selecting it you'll find the EGM grid file as your geo file so you just need to take and once you have set it it is a once and for all process and even if you even if you create a new job see job B then you will not need to load the EGM file again because as I've said before 
and as you can see here in the video the egm file will all will be uploaded automatically so this is a once and for all process and i wish you all the best thank you